Hi, I'm Jack Canfield, and today I'd like to talk to you about setting goals for the coming year. And I'm gonna share my goals for the coming year with you as well. As a reminder, make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notifications when I release new videos. Now, as most of you watching this know, I divide my life into seven areas, financial, business and career, relationships, health and fitness, fun and recreation, personal and contribution or making a difference. Now, if you've not already set your goals for 2019, I want to encourage you to make one or more goals in each of those seven areas for your life for the coming year. Now, in order to have a balanced and productive life in all of these important areas of my life, I always set a minimum of three goals in each of these areas of my life, which gives me 21 major goals to focus on in the coming year. Now, I thought that was a lot until I recently spoke in Bangkok, Thailand at a conference called The Missing Secrets of Success with Dr. Joe Vitale from The Secret, former heavyweight boxing champion Mike Tyson, former Miss Universe Natalie Gabrova, and Andres Pira, a man who was homeless, sleeping on the beaches of Thailand when he was 20, and 16 years later was a multi-billionaire. And Andres shared with me at dinner that he sets 101 new goals every year. Pretty amazing. But start with whatever number you're comfortable with. And if you're starting to set goals for the first time, don't overwhelm yourself. Anyway, I thought I would share with you my goals for the year, and I hope they give you a sense of direction on how to make your list. Now, my financial goals for 2019 are one, to increase the gross income for the Canfield Training Group by $5 million, to double my personal income, to earn $600,000 in personal speaking fees, where I actually go out and do talks at conferences and for companies, to enroll 1,000 people into our online Train the Trainer program, to enroll 50 people into our 2020 Train the Trainer program, and to have a minimum of 200 people in our Caribbean cruise in March. Now, my professional goals for 2019 are to complete and publish the following six books, Living the Success Principles, The Success Principles Workbook with Brandon Hall, The Success Principles for Women, The Power of Wow with Raymond Aaron, a book called Unstuck with Lise Janelle, and The Big Bad Bully, a children's book about how we bully ourselves with a woman named Miriam Laundry. Another goal is to complete and publish the Tree of Life Meditation CDs with Deirdre Hayde, to complete the strategic planning for a major podcast membership program, to complete and implement a membership and support program for our Campfield Train the Trainer graduates, to complete a thorough decluttering of my office, to hire a new part-time personal assistant for myself, to create a new, more effective system for handling my emails, and to complete 48 interviews or podcasts where others interview me, and to develop my first TEDx talk on the topic of rejection as a myth. My 2019 relationship goals are to have a date night with my wife, Inga, every week that I'm home and not on the road, to have 100 or more free days, that's midnight to midnight with no working, related activities at home or on vacation with my wife, to spend a minimum of two weeks with my grandson, Ozzy, who lives in Brooklyn, New York. And then my health and fitness goals are to weigh 195 pounds or less, to work out using high intensity interval training and weightlifting for at least 30 minutes a day, a minimum of three days a week, to take two 20 minute walks a day, to drink two and a half liters of water every day, and to get a minimum of 26 massages over the course of the year. Now, my fun and recreation goals for 2019 are to take a 30-day vacation in Hawaii with my wife, to take a one-week vacation with my wife and six friends in a villa on the beach in the Bahamas, and my personal goals for 2019 are to read books on personal, spiritual, or professional development for a minimum of 30 minutes a day, to watch two TED or TEDx talks every week, to read 36 or more books, to complete the new landscaping around the swimming pool area of my property, And then the contribution goals for 2019 are to give four free talks for the local community, educational and nonprofit organizations in Santa Barbara, to tie 10% of my after-tax income to nonprofit organizations, including the Unstoppable Foundation, which builds schools in Africa, the Child Abuse Learning and Mediation Center, the Bodhi Path Meditation Center, the Pachamama Alliance, UNICEF Children's Fund, 
Doctors Without Borders and Direct Relief, all great organizations, by the way, and to provide one free online train the trainer program to someone in a third world country for everyone we sell that can actually afford it. And those you've heard, now these are my goals for 2019. Goals in every area, usually a minimum of three in each area, sometimes more. So my question now is what are your goals? And here's the deal. I'd love to hear your thoughts after watching this video. Have you already set your goals for 2019? And if you have, what are your top three goals for the year? And if you haven't set them yet, by when are you gonna sit down and write out those goals? I wanna hear your commitment to that. And if you feel inspired to leave a comment below with your answer, I'd like to read what you have to say. I always find you guys say really cool stuff and I'll respond as best I can. So thank you for watching. And remember, nothing in your life will change for the better until you do. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you like it and share it with a friend who may need it and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And for some additional resources on setting and achieving goals, make sure to visit my website at jackcanfield.com. So thanks again for watching.